Hey Gearheads, it's Jeff here with the Battle Wagon 3. I want to show you something that I see discussed quite a bit in the different Humvee groups online. There are two different kinds of X doors. Actually, there are probably more than that, but let's just stick with the two basic types, right? We have your standard X doors that are straight at the bottom, and then they hit this point right here, and they bend in, right? So they come up and they conform to the shape of the side of the Humvee, and the window comes straight up, so that window housing is sticking out and the rest of the door comes in. That's a normal Humvee X-Door. You can also have the supplemental armor type that has a sheet or two of steel on the outside to give it a little bit more rigidity and maybe some ballistic protection, maybe not. Thicker windows. Uh, anyhow, that's your normal X-Door. Then you have your straight X-Doors. So again, straight at the bottom, all the way up to here. Then, where the normal X-Door starts to bend in, we don't see that, right? It keeps going straight up. Where you see the window frame sticking out on the normal X-Door, it does not stick out on the straight X-Door. So when this closes all the way, you're gonna have a gap of this size right up here. And if you look at where this door sticks out past the lip on the edge of the roof, that straight door is gonna stick out at least that far as well. So then you'll have, you'll have a gap right up here where the water just runs right off the roof and on the inside of the door. So that simply isn't gonna fit. The only way to make this fit up here would be if you build out the armor the, the way it was designed for. If you up armor it and have the secondary armor roof and then the, the build up around it, you can consume that gap and make it fit because that's what they're made for. That's your first challenge. If you can make it shut, you're gonna have a gap at the top, all right? Second challenge you'll have, if you wanna to try to use a straight X door on a normal non-up armored Humvee, is this spacing here at the hinge mounts. All right, I'm gonna guess that's about a quarter of an inch of buildup of fiberglass compared to no buildup on a regular X door, all right? So that means the entire door is offset about a quarter inch that direction. So when put in the same hinge points, when you go to close it, look what happens in here with that inner edge of the door. It hits the door frame and I can't close it. Like literally, that's as far as I can go with that. I can't even get it to close all the way. So could you either take off this, like take the whole hinge plate off and grind all of this down so that it's flat to take away that offset? Maybe you could. Could you take the uh, hinge mounts off of the door and put a spacer behind them so that they compensate for that? Maybe you could, I don't know. I've not tried either one, but I've thought about it. That, that's something that got my attention. But then look at the size of this. The offset on the fiberglass here, that looks like a half inch or maybe five eighths of an inch thick of the fiberglass here and then that big stack of spacers. So they're expecting when this door is shut for it to be offset outward enough that the striker will stick out right here. If you, if you make the changes on the hinge at the front, you're gonna have to, re to reduce the thickness here significantly so that the door will go all the way shut. Otherwise, with all of that space, the, the whole door is only going to shut to about here. You're going to have a big gap from all of that space. So that's another challenge you'll have to deal with. Let's see on the normal door. Oh yeah, look at that. There's one little spacer plate and just a little bit of build up there. This has got a significantly greater amount of build up. And then even the spacers themselves are thicker. Look at the difference in the size of the spacers. That's crazy. All right, so those are the challenges that I have seen. Now, I've heard some people say, well, I'm just going to get those doors and I'll bend it in. It's just fiberglass. You know, you could score across here on the inside and then bend the top end so it matches the shape of the regular X door. Um, but tell me, how are you going to do that with your window frame support here. That has to be straight or your window won't go up or down. So I don't think that scoring and bending this in is an option. Potentially, if you cut around the window frame and basically re-glassed it to look just like this, 
that's the only shot I think you would have at converting one of these straight X doors into a standard curved X door. So I don't know. That, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you at the range. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much and we'll see you at the range. Thank you.